Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now we are going to see the review of TDS meter and here now we are going to unbox it. So as you unbox, here you can see the uh, TDS meter manual which says TDS meter 3 and water quality tester. So the what is TDS? So you can see here all the details of the TDS meter. So as you open it, it is in Chinese and in English as well. So here are the instructions for you if you are using it for the first time. Just remove the protective cap, turn the TDS meter on, immerse the water, maximum immersion level 1. So 2 inch you need to in the TDS meter and then uh, wait for 30 to 45 seconds and press hold to save the reading. So now we are going to uh, check and here comes the bill which is from Amazon and here you can see the TDS meter and it is the protective cap so you can remove it easily and then here comes the uh, three buttons one is hold temperature on and off here is the TDS meter and here is the display so let's check out and here you can see you can also keep it as a pen so here you can check uh, turn on so we have turned on and here the temperature is equals to the mode let's tap on temp so here when you tap on temp it shows the current temperature which is 25 degrees centigrade and one again when you tap on it it shows the foreign heat as well and when you type tap again it shows the ppm levels which is currently 000 and if you want to hold the reading or save the reading you can just hold it so that the reading will be saved and let's check out the water now so as we move the camera this side so here comes our three glasses this is the tank water and this is the bore water and this is the filter water which is RO and UF now we are going to place the TDS meter in this which is tank water so we have to immerse the water tester so we have to wait for 30 to 45 seconds and let's wait at 30 seconds As you can see there is no fluctuate in the reading which means that the ppm level of my tank water is 441 ppm. After this video you can check the readings which are safe for drinking water and let's clean it up. We have to clean it up before checking and now we have cleaned it. So. Now we are going to place it in the bore water. So here you can see we have kept the TDS meter in the bore water. Previously the tank water was 441 and now here you can see the bore water levels are 436 which is quite improved where we have to consume the water which is under 500 as per the WHO so if your water levels are under 500 ppm then you can consume it the, those water levels are good for your health if you have less than 300 ppm or 200 ppm then the water is perfect and soft so that you can drink and your health will be good so now we are going to clean it before we keep it on inside the uh, RO filter water so let's keep it inside here you can see I have cleaned it now we are going to keep it inside the RO filtered water so here you can see the RO filtered water is of 20 ppm so this water level is perfect for drinking and here you can check 
or you can press the hold button so we have hold the button and now after cleaning I am going to show it to you so here you can see the TDS levels are 20 ppm so here the TDS level is 20 ppm which is perfect for drinking and it's safe as well so we are using the RO and UF water purifier and it's working pretty good and like this you can check your water levels this is all the test which has been done and that's it guys thanks for watching my video make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon